if ever there was any doubt as to the requirement of some force to deal with women's issues, it's what's happening around sexual violence in conflict areas. And in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and in countries like Zimbabwe, and in the election violence in Kenya, and in the terror in Darfur, and in the fratricidal moments in northern Uganda, what's happening to women, the raping of women, the conversion of rape as a weapon of war into a strategy of war in order to demean, humiliate, subordinate entire communities and societies, it's unbelievable. And everybody in the United Nations understands what's going on. No one should imagine otherwise. The Security Council certainly does. It has debated these things often enough. Everybody understands that there's a war against women in the Congo. And, and everybody understands that Mugabe has unleashed his thugs in a pattern of rape and sexual violence visited on the political opposition that knows no precedent. And it's debated, and it's talked about, and we have the largest peacekeeping force in the United Nations, 17,000 strong Monuk in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. We have absolute mandates in Security Council resolutions requiring the peacekeeping forces to protect the women. We have a resolution, 1820, I guess it's back in June or July of, uh, of this year, which was introduced, interestingly enough, by the then Secretary of State for the United States, asking that the violence come to an end, elevating sexual violence to a level of a threat to international peace and security, and we're simply not making sufficient progress. In fact, let me say what it pains me to say. We're making more progress in protecting the women of the Congo and forcing activity by virtue of Eve Ensler and her V-Day NGO and the work she's doing in the Kivus than we are in the entire assembled United Nations agencies put together. And I just can't get over it. In fact, it was Eve Ensler and Dr. Denis Mukwege who runs the Pansy Hospital in Bukavu, in the Eastern Kivus, who met with the Secretary General of the United Nations and persuaded him to go to Bukavu, and he's doing so, I think, in two days' time. And, and I want to tell you that it should take an NGO to affect these things, rather than for the United Nations to affect these things, taken as a corporate body, is absolutely beyond me. And we, we have Marianne Moman here from, from Human Rights Watch. And Human Rights Watch and so many of the others have been chronicling the pattern of violence for so long. I mean, it is, it is terribly important that the work they do be recognized. <laughs>